Hi, welcome to this week's Technique of the Week. So glad you joined us today. Thanks for watching these videos. Uh, today we're gonna be showing you, okay, now we've got these fiber optics. We've got them poked through the wall. We made our grid. Uh, today we're gonna be showing you how to hook them up to the illuminator to make sure that we get the most possible light that we can through the fiber optics. The first thing we're gonna wanna do is cut the fiber optics flush. Now, most of these places that sell the illuminators, um, it'll come with one of these metal pieces that are usually tapered, uh, depending on how many fiber optics you have. You put the fiber optics through the tube, and that gives you something to cut them off flush. You want all the fiber optics to be cut flush with the thing. You don't want them at different uh, depths or different in uh, increments back and forth because that might make so that the fiber optics not lighting up as good as they as they could because it'll make shadows from the other ones. All we're going to do is use a hot knife to cut them. The hot knife uh, melts the fibers and what I like about using a hot knife is it helps kind of almost melt them together so it helps lock them together too so they don't move around as much and that's the first start to this whole thing is just uh, getting them all cut off uh, nice and smooth. After we're done with that, you can see already the light just on the other side of the room coming through the fibers from the room. You can tell that they actually look a lot better just from cutting it off with the hot knife. The next step with this is to sand these. We want to polish these uh, fibers just like you would do like a polished floor. Okay, so well, what I found works really good, you can use sandpaper. You like start like at a 60 grit sandpaper and then go up to like a 120 grit sandpaper and then a 220 grit sandpaper, then a 400 sandpaper, then an 800. You can do that. Or I really like using these uh, diamond uh, polishing blocks like you would use for uh, concrete countertops for edges. Um, we just, I, I know it's hard to believe this, but we sell those here at Deco Creek Supply. <laughs> what we're gonna do is just sand these with these blocks and they have little diamonds on them and it polishes those fiber optics really nice and that's going to make it almost like uh, when we're done with this it's going to look like glass like it's going to look like all one big piece of glass that the uh, illuminator can illuminate through there and it's going to make the uh, fiber optics the brightest they can possibly be on this video um, i used a 50 um, 100 200 and then a 400 to get the fiber optics smooth as possible we're ready to put the fiber optics in the illuminator there's a set screw on there. We're just gonna put it in there. Now the illuminators are a lot of different types of illuminators. Um, there's some that will make the uh, lights twinkle. There's some that'll uh, you know, do different colors. Most of them come with a controller that does the different colors and the different speeds. And it all depends on which illuminator you get. Obviously the more expensive illuminator you get, the more uh, bells and whistles you'll get with it. Any illuminator will work good. Like when I first started doing this, these were real expensive and now they're, they're fairly uh, inexpensive to buy so that's a uh, really nice about about that you can buy them right on amazon or any any place like that thanks for joining us this week on technique of the week um, we really appreciate you guys uh being with us uh you know our mission at decocrete is to add value to this industry make sure you go on there and uh, ring the bell on facebook too that helps us to ring the bell you'll get notifications that'll every time we launch one of these uh technique of the weeks you know it'll show up in your notifications so um, thanks for joining us on this week's Technique of the Week, we'll see you next time.